all three at the same time. In her camper. That's right. <laughs> Yeehaw. <laughs> yeah, buddy. <laughs> Son of a gun. Son of a gun, gonna have some fun. Oh. Perfect. Perfect. You're doing perfect. Like, I don't even have to tell you what to do. John has to be level. Even when he's not level-headed all the time, his rig has to be level. Yeah, so we, uh, we stayed the night over here in uh, Sioux Falls, at the uh, Sioux Falls Recreation Area. Man, this place is beautiful. I'm doing this with my phone, so bear with me. But look at this. Look at the size of the spots. This is really nice. So if you're coming and you're going to, you know, Mount Rushmore, um, all that stuff, you should, and you're coming this way, this is uh, on the way there. If you're coming this way, you should definitely hit this place. Let me tell you something, 35 bucks a night. All you got is electric, but they got a dump station, water. That's all you need. It's really nice. 35 bucks for this and there's a bike path right there we parked we back up to the river and then behind us was a little trail and here's the trail it's pretty civilized here at the state park <laughs> i like it how about you mom i love it i just came out and i had my glass of wine and this is yeah i know it's great cool. so we got electric nothing else that's all we need yeah, yeah. I don't even know where it goes, but it's huge. People keep coming by all morning. So I highly recommend this place. Olive oil, pesto, yeah. linguine. <laughs> As the sun sets over here. Wow. Mm. Isn't that beautiful? Gorgeous. Stunning. That is. This is why people come here.
place was full last night. I know. He's like right there. He didn't care. He's usually pretty shy. You know what I mean? Like me. Like you. Yeah, I'm super shy. Lady. Lady. Good morning. So, we just uh, got done visiting the Badlands and the Wall and all that stuff, where we went and stayed up on the wall, which was an adventure, let me tell you, because Google, I got coordinates from a good, reliable source, as far as I know, but I don't know, because it didn't work. Anyways, we were on a damn dirt road for like 10 miles. Yeah. Washboard dirt road. <laughs> so we... Anyways, but we got there finally. So we went through the park the one way, then we went out, went down this dirt road for 10 miles, and then we went back in on the other side. And then we found the spots where everybody goes. So then we went and parked there, and we were late. So, but we got a really good spot. I was happy because we saw a, uh, I believe it's a mountain goat. It is not a big horn sheep. <laughs> I met folks getting after me about that. I'm like, well, what the hell? Anyways, so what was your favorite part about going up there and staying on the wall? Oh, Megan? wow. Um, I would have to say waking up at 5 o'clock in the morning with all the windows open and looking out at the sunset coming up above the wall. I mean, it was, was, it, was beautiful. it was like literally like, oh, good morning, God. Yeah, that was really cool. <laughs> the sunset was beautiful too, but so it's behind you. So you kind of have to remember to turn around and go look at it because you're so focused in front of you. You know, when you stay, you're so focused in front of you when you stay at the wall, you forget to, to look at that. And it's beautiful. It's freaking beautiful. So freaking I would beautiful. have to say if you do it, you do go to the wall. You should get there a little earlier so you can get a good spot. I mean, our spot was good. We got lucky. Literally, we got lucky. Mm -hmm. And uh, make sure you know kind of where you're going. You know, look at the map, pick it out, figure it out because it should be easy. Yeah, it is easy. Once you've been there, it's easy. We've never done it, so it was so cool. So I mean, we got to check that box. Yeah, and um, John met somebody. He met somebody on I don't know some social media outlet or whatever Reddit. and read it and they became friends and he told them where to go and to go in there and go a certain way yeah. and where the winds would be and blah 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 so yeah, you got to check um, the winds because they get pretty serious up there and if you're you know facing into it so we use uh, chime I think it is it's NOAA the uh, actual weather service and they have a wind section on there and it'll give you the time and how bad they are and from which direction they're coming. So for us, the bearing was 330. was the heading and it worked out perfectly because I set it up just like that. Not a problem, not a problem at all. Not a problem at all. Was it for me? All right, so we will see you next Thursday or before. Adios. Adios.